Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss peptic ulcers. Okay, the peptic ulcers are the open sores that develop inside the linings of esophagus, stomach, and upper portion of small intestine. It occurs due to reaction of acidic digestive peptide juices. Peptic ulcer extends deeper into lining. Normally, acid and pepsins do not produce any ulceration because protective and aggressive factors work within their ranges. Now let's discuss aggressive and protective factors. Imbalance between these two factors may contribute in development of peptic ulcer. The aggressive factors include gastric acidity and peptic enzymes, while the protective or defensive factors include surface mucus secretions, bicarbonate secretion into mucus, mucosal blood flow, epithelial regeneration capacity. and elaboration of plosta glandins imbalance between these two factors may contribute in development of peptic ulcer now moving to major causes of peptic ulcer these causes include helicobacter pyrolysis helicobacter pyrolysis is a microorganism that is responsible for the development of peptic ulcer the second cause you can say alcohol and beverage heavy intake of alcohol can also contribute in development of peptic ulcer next cause is your family history if your family members previously are suffering from peptic ulcer so you may be or you are at the higher risk for the peptic ulcer and another cause is the use of anti inflammatory drugs extensive use of non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs is also responsible for the development of peptic ulcer now moving to signs and symptoms of peptic ulcer the signs and symptoms of peptic ulcer include burning sensation to the affected area severe pain to the affected area like stomach or esophagus you can see where ulceration is being observed fatigue may be observed by the patient heart burning sensation may be observed loss of appetite may be observed and severe weight loss may be observed in the patients who is suffering from peptic ulcer now moving to pathophysiology of peptic ulcer as we already know the aggressive and protective factor if there is a imbalance between these two factor that condition leads to peptic ulcer okay the increased gastric activity and peptic activity are the aggressive factors with impaired defense these aggressive factors cause damage to the gastric mucosa and another factor is helicobacter pyrolysis basically it is a microorganism that can also cause peptic ulcer all these three packed factors together or individually may lead to damaging of lining of our gastric mucosa eventually that damage leads to ulceration and that ulceration is peptic ulcer now moving to diagnosis of peptic ulcer we have several methods that can be used for the diagnosis and identification of peptic ulcer these include radiology endoscopy biopsy and stomach tissue test now let's discuss the treatment of peptic ulcer these days we have several medications and antibiotics that are useful against the treatment of peptic ulcer let's discuss them one by one the very first is antibiotics basically the antibiotics are used for the killing of the microorganism h pyroli or helicobacter pyroli it is responsible for the development of peptic ulcer another one is drugs that block acid production excessive acid production leads to peptic ulcer which has to be blocked the third one is drugs that reduce the acid production basically the acid production is a continuous process few medications are used for reducing the production of acids okay other drugs or category is antacids basically antacids are the drugs that are used to neutralize the stomach acid okay third one is drug that protect the stomach lining stomach lining basically is a protective membrane this protective membrane is damaged due to the action of acids and peptic enzymes a protective medication or protective covering is applied on the stomach lining which pro protects the mucosal membrane another treatment is surgery the affected area is removed using the surgery and the last one is vagotomy all these are the possible treatment for treating peptic ulcer 
It was a quick review on peptic ulcer which included general introduction, causes, signs and symptoms, aggressive and defensive factors, very important pathophysiology, diagnosis and treatment of peptic ulcer. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do subscribe my channel for more pharmacy educational videos.